Hi everyone, Angela here. To make this mini trash can, you'll need fabric for your lining and your main fabric. Cut one pattern piece out of each fabric. The link for this pattern can be found in the description below. Cut the five notches at the bottom and the one at the top. If you'd like your trash can to be a little bit stiffer, you can add medium weight non-woven fusible interfacing with the glue on one side. With the glue side up, place the wrong side of the main fabric on top and cut out. Iron together and then recut the notches if you need to. For the handle, I'm using 3 quarter inch wide twilled tape. Cut a length 18 inches long. Match the short sides of the fabric with right sides together, pin or clip in place. Stitch together with a half inch seam allowance, back tacking at the start and finish. Next, press both seams open. Match this seam to the center notch on the bottom and at the top, and then crease down the sides. Where the two bottom notches match, fold the side toward the center and clip in place. Repeat on the other side and then do the same for the lining. Stitch across the main piece, back tacking at the start and finish. But for the lining, start by back tacking and then back tack again just past that folded edge. Then skip over to the next edge to leave an opening and back tack to finish. Flip the main bag over so that the seam is on the bottom. Place one edge of the strap along that seam, loop the strap around without twisting it, and then place it beside the other end and clip in place. Stitch quarter of an inch from the edge to hold in place. Put the strap inside and then turn the lining right side out. Match this seam with the center of those straps when you place it inside. Match the center notches at the top, then pin or clip all around if you need to. Remove the free arm and then stitch all around the top. There's no need to back tack, just overlap about half an inch at the end. Pull out the lining and then pull at the seams nice and taut and give it a press all around. Turn the bag right side out, then pull at the corners of the lining and neaten up the seam allowances at the opening and edge stitch it close back tacking at the start and finish. Push the main fabric into the lining and then adjust the top edge so that just a tiny little bit of the lining is showing. Then press all around the top edge like that. On the lining, chalk a line one inch from the top edge all around. Mark a vertical line from the edge to the chalk mark three inches from the center line on both sides. From just one of the vertical lines, mark three quarters of an inch on both sides along the edge. Turn the bag right side out and pull out the bottom corners. Fold the top edge down along the chalk line all around and clip in place. Next we'll stitch down the two short vertical lines, back tacking at the top and bottom. Then we'll back tack from this mark, edge stitch all around, back tack at the second mark, leaving an opening on either side. Flip the strap straight up, turn it over, and then edge stitch it down from the lining side. So that it stays open at the top, you can add half inch wide boning. Cut a piece 6 inches long and another piece 11 inches long and then round out all the ends. Instead of boning, you can also use quarter inch tubing. Insert the boning through the openings and you get this nice half circle shape at the top. Using the tubing will give you more of a lip. For this one I've used boning on the back so that it's flat and the tubing for the front. You can leave the openings as is for easy removal if you want to throw this in the wash. If you use doggy poo bags and you want to line this, they'll fit nicely inside. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to check out my video up next. <laughs>